Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And welcome to United Fellowship Chapel's service. Let's have an opening prayer. Mother, Father, God, we give thanks for your presence here today. We ask for your angelic intelligence and your resilience to circulate through each and every one. We ask for your limitless light of armor to be established in and around and through this building and on Zoom, that only the highest and best will occur through our thoughts, words, and actions, and through those thoughts, words, and actions will direct us to a greater knowledge of our own selves, so when we meet those on our passage, we have a better understanding of them. We give thanks for this day. Amen. Amen. Oh, I had uh, someone in. On the left-hand side of the program, uh, we will read our invocation out loud. All knowing which are within us, hallowed be I am. Ignite our understanding that we are eternal spiritual beings with the power to create happiness, health, and wealth in our lives. Ignite our understanding that our choices belong to us and are the seeds that create our lives. Ignite forgiveness of self as we ignite forgiveness of others. We give thanks for the power and the glory of I am in all. Amen. Let's just take just a moment and absorb what we just said into every little bit of ourselves. Feel that energy. And now we'll read our affirmation out loud with vigor and excitement. I, I am, am that I am, am, that I am the light of the God. God. And therefore, I am free and all-knowing. Ignite my soul with thy spirit, O God, I pray. On the right-hand side of the program, if you'll take a look, we've got some events that are going on this next week. Um, I'll be teaching uh, self-realization on Tuesday on understanding, which is one of our 12 powers. So join us for that. That'll be at 5 o'clock. Friday, uh, January 20th. As I said earlier, uh, Reverend Jennifer Kleit, she is our medium of the month. She's doing appointments that day, uh, $40 per half hour. Uh, give her a call or ourselves at the chapel and we'll get you signed up there. Um, you can see that on our website at unitedfellowshipchapel.org to uh, pay and uh, contact Reverend Jennifer. Uh, Wednesday, February, and mediumship course is starting and that is eight weeks long. It is one hour a week and it starts at 6.30. So it'd be one hour, 6.30 and it's $150. And then Thursday, February 3rd, Reverend David is going to be doing to the spirit world. That is Thursday at 12 o'clock for $10. And then February 4th, the same week, uh, Dr. Beck, he is going to be doing a circle on the first Friday of every month, and that is at one o'clock for $10. So join us for that. And you can see everything on our website at unitedfellowshipchapel.org. And now is the time for our heating, healing meditation, which will be done by Reverend Jennifer Kleitz. Good day. Good day. Good day. I invite you to relax and close your eyes as you are comfortable. Focus on the breath, inhaling and exhaling with peace and calm. With your feet firmly planted on the ground, you are connecting with Mother Earth. You are secure and safe. You settle into the sacred space of relaxation and release aware of your divine energy circulating through you. You can feel a calming energy at the crown of your head. With each inhale and exhale, this energy moves gently and easily down your body, down your forehead and your face, 
Your mind is cleared of thoughts from early in the day. Your muscles relax with peace. Down the back of your skull to your neck and shoulders, any tensions or discord flows away. Rest, relax, and release. As the energy moves over your chest and back, you feel lighter and more calm. Harmony and healing is active in your body. Slowly and gently, the energy moves over your abdomen and hips, removing any dis-ease or discomfort. Rest, relax, and release. Peace and love is active in your body, moving down your thighs, knees, and lower legs. Tension is released. Relaxation and calm are there. Rest, relax, and release. Moving into the feet and toes, this energy seeps into the soles of your feet, connecting with Mother Earth. You are secure and safe. You are secure and safe. Healing is taking place as you inhale that divine breath of life. It circulates through all your cells. Rest, relax, and release. You can see your feet on a dirt path. As you follow the path, you see trees on either side as the path goes along a canyon in the mountains. All the beauties of nature surround you. Your walk is relaxing and peaceful. Now the path opens up to a circle of trees and you are emptied out into a luscious field of golden forest grass. The lovely warming golden color invites you. You notice a hut at one side of the field. The hut is rustic and not quite fully enclosed. And inside is a lovely bench. You enter the hut and sit on the bench. As you sit on the bench, you look up and notice an opening in the center of the roof where the sun shines in. And it is the perfect time of day and you find yourself bathed in the healing warmth of the sun coming in through the opening. The sun rays are showering you with warmth, warm healing energy, soaking into your muscles, tendons, bones, and all of your cells. Healing, healing, healing. I leave you here to sit in the quiet and peace and let the sun's healing energy bathe you completely.
Now the sun has shifted and the rays are receding from the hole in the roof. You stand and stretch, feeling the healing you have experienced. You feel invigorated, energetic, and calm from the healing energy still on your skin and soaking into your muscles and bones. Embracing this feeling of vitality and vigor, you proceed back down the path to the woods that brought you to this beautiful golden sun spa. The view of the canyon is darker now, shadows playing on the sides as the sun starts on its descent. Remembering all that you've seen, sensed, felt, and heard, and feeling very refreshed and keen, you notice your healing clarity from your healing circle. You notice that every one of us surround that healing circle and notice that your healing breath starts to expand to touch each and every one. And we become one healing breath, one healing breath. We direct this healing breath to the healing box to all the souls who are making or have made their transition, all the institutes of health, that healing is being ignited in every one, every head of state, that peace is the journey and destination, all those affected by the winds, the rains, the snows, the movement of the earth, the fires, that they are protected and healed. You feel refreshed and renewed and at peace. You can return to the Golden Sun Spa anytime. Now is the time to bring your awareness back to this room and this space, this sacred healing space. Fully in the room, <clears throat> wiggle your toes and your fingers and open your eyes when you are ready. Thank you, Reverend Jennifer, for meditation. And now's the time for our speaker today. Um, our speaker is talking on one of my favorite subjects. Uh, and it, uh, it, it, we talk about this particular subject so much, but it's so enriching. And I really do hope you get what I always do every time I hear about this. So um, can't wait to hear it. Reverend Ernestina. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And as we continue with the topics about foundation, today's talk is on seeds. And so it's a good topic to talk about in January because usually people, towards the end of the year and the beginning of the year in January, people are talking all about their New Year's resolution. It's a new year, it's time to make changes recreate ourselves, whichever way anyone wishes to put that, it is a good time to think about changes. And we are all aware that making changes and change is actually a constant. And that is one of the reasons why seeds is very important as one of our foundations. <clears throat> so let's look at this time as an opportunity to see and become aware of what seeds we are planting within ourselves. Not just at the beginning of the year, but each and every day of the year. It is time to get to know and understand and ignite the powers within ourselves. To become aware of how to live positively and continue on our spiritual growth and our path to know thyself. After all, we are all aware that we did come into this universe 
with the knowledge, understanding, and everything that may be required on our spiritual path. And it is the thought, words, and actions that are, that are the seeds to our manifestations. Therefore, as our awareness increases, it is time to stop, think, pay attention about what seeds we incorporate into our daily lives, into our mind, body, and spirit. And in that sense, I wish for you to take some time to pay attention to things like, what am I thinking about? What do I hold in my mind most of the time? And how do I speak to myself on a daily basis? Because after all, we do speak to ourselves every day. Whether we wish to realize that or not, we do it constantly. Do we talk to ourselves in a positive manner or in a negative way? And what do my actions demonstrate about me and who I am? These thoughts, words, and actions are the seeds to our creative process, the cause and effect of my life. And that is very important, the cause and effect to my life. So it's time to become more aware of that. What about the people, places, and things in my life? Are these people, places, and experiences in my life positive? Are they loving experiences and loving people in my life? And as I plant the seeds for my desires, do I fertilize them, cultivate it, weed it, water it, and nurture it properly to keep me on that path? It is time to understand and check our foundation, our planting, our seeding. It is now time to pay attention. Are we stable, strong, and secure? And what areas within ourselves do we wish to strengthen, ignite, and cultivate so that I may plant the proper seeds of happiness, health, and wealth within myself? Because for every action, there is a cause and effect. After all, we are blessed daily with starting anew, beginning with a blank state, so to speak, or a new canvas. So what color or colors will you choose to use today to create your desires? We know that everything essential for a healthy, happy, flourishing garden is within us. Again, it is within us at all times, within us to manifest our desires, each and every day is a new day, a blessing, a blessing to start anew each day, a time to check ourselves, look within, and be grateful for this and every day, awareness and gratefulness. So am I planting the positive, loving, healthy, happy, and wealthy thoughts, words, and actions that help me know myself? to learn to know myself and to love myself? Do I daily nurture myself? Do I water, cultivate, weed the garden of my mind to release and let go of thoughts, words, actions, or experiences that no longer assist me in my life now? And do I pull out the weeds in my life and immediately replace them? so that there is no vacuum left in there, and I replace them with happiness, health, and wealth, knowing again that I am the creator of my life. So I suggest that we take time, spend time in silence, for in silence we hear our inner voice. Time in meditation. Meditation allows us to create ourselves, to bring in the invisible, to become visible. It is time to activate and acknowledge the powers within, the power of imagination, where imagination can be thought of as a language of pictures, pictures in our mind of what we wish to have. It is through imagination that we can see, feel, touch, and experience what we want to have, what we want to create. Through the power of faith, belief, and knowing that as you sow, so shall you reap. 
And again, the importance of cause and effect for energy flows where your attention goes. Energy flows where your attention goes. And then the power of zeal, which is located at the back of our neck, helps us calm ourselves. And it's in the base of the brain to bring us energy, motivation, and persistency. And will and understanding is the ability to perceive the invisible and become to become visible. And to know at all times that my I am presence, my helpers, healers, my guides, my whole band is within me continuously, for they do not leave me. They are within me at all times to assist me on the path. So what about you? What about you, I ask? What do you wish to manifest? How will you go about to do that? And when? Because if not now, then when? It is time to check, to see what you are manifesting, what we all are manifesting. Do we see life as a garden, a canvas? as your desires, your unique self, that unique part of you to know thyself. So what seeds do you wish to plant to create yourself, to lay down that foundation? Is that strong, sturdy, with deep roots? I ask for you to take the time on a daily basis, if possible, to become aware of what seeds we have within ourselves to pay attention to how we talk to ourselves, to become more aware of our path, knowing that it is there waiting for us just to keep moving in that path. And I leave that with you, God bless. Thank you, Reverend Ernestina. You're welcome. And now is the time we'll do our love offering and we'll place it between our hands and we'll give it a blessing before we do. For those on Zoom, if you'd like to donate, you can go to unitedfellowshipchapel.org. Mother, Father, God, as we place between our hands that which you have ignited, we give to the source that what you have given to, put, to affect the law of tenfold return to those who give freely and from the heart. Amen. For those here, you could just go ahead and donate up front one at a time if you could, please, for this. Thank you. Now's the time for our mediums to give messages. Your clear and strong voice says yes and thank you. So the thank you part. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hello? Okay. Okay. Uh, are you there, Lucy? Okay, let's try. Karen. Yes, I am. Okay, may I come to you? Yes, you may. Thank you. Okay.
at this time, Spirit says you are increasing, increasing your abilities in ways that you have been um, striving for and the changes that are, are happening that are making you more powerful in this area are things that you um, can understand have been a, a product of what you have been doing. It's been a product of your efforts. And at this time, there's a, a, what appears to be a leap, but it really isn't. It's just a, a release and a bouncing forward. Uh, your efforts, spirit's efforts, and your ability to allow change and growth to take place within yourself is just being represented now in the, the physical world. Uh, accept it, know that it is something that you have earned and it is something that you can continue to build on and let its pace be whatever it needs to be at the moment. And I leave that with you. Thank you. Karen, may I come to you? Karen, are you there? Okay. I had to unmute myself. Sure am. Hi. Hi. May I come to you? Of course. Okay. There's some revealings that will be taking place for you in the next few weeks. There's some um, situation around you where you have been seeking clarity from different individuals and searching your memory and searching in some other ways to see if you can get a, a better understanding about um, the situation. And at this time, there is going to be just a morning that you wake up and you will have a clearer vision, a clearer picture, clearer understanding. And so just settle with that and you will be able to get all the answers that you need. And you may even generate a few more questions. And I leave that with you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Arlene. Our next medium is Julie. Okay, we'll pass just for today. <laughs> Our next media will be Reverend Ernestina. Will you give three messages, please? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is it John David? May I come to you today? Yes, please. As I come to your presence today, John. I get a very interesting picture of you. It's like you're, it's like a, as a child, it's like I'm watching you as a child with that, that knowing and that faith that you know that you're on that path. And the reason I see you as a child is because you've got all this energy like skipping and hopping and running and, and it's so much excitement that you carry within you. And that energy just comes up and it demonstrates, it shows to other people. And as you do that, you leave some of that energy along for others to have as well. And I leave that with you. God bless. Thank you. Julie, may I come to you? Yes, welcome. As I come to you today, Julie, I see clarity within you. And um, what I see you in, in deep meditation, and that meditation is just um, releasing more and more of the powers within you. And it's as if you're growing roots, you're being grounded and all of that energy within you and those powers are ignited within you. And your band is there at all times, watching you, letting you know that all your support is here at all times. And I leave that with you, God bless. Jackie, may I come to you? Yes, thank you. Well, Jackie, when it comes to tree, you're the queen of trees. <laughs> Because I see you, you know, so relaxed and it's, and I actually see you, I'm sure you've seen the movie Avatar, the prayer tree and all of that. And I can see you in that, that presence of all that energy and all that loving flow and all that creativeness that happens within that. And that is such a, a wonderful place for you. And you keep it within you at all times. And that is what... <clears throat> You leave with people, you know, whenever you meet anyone and whatever, you leave us with that feeling and the presence that we know that you are there in that space and you allow us to have some of that. 
And I thank you for that. And I leave that with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Ernestina. Our next meeting will be Reverend Jennifer. Reverend Jennifer, would you give three messages, please? Thank you. Good day. Yay. Yeah, good day. Reverend Ernestina, may I come to you? Yes, welcome. Reverend Ernestina, as I come into your presence this afternoon, I have this symbol of power. And Spirit is saying that this is the time, Reverend Ernestina, for you to meditate on your power, recognize that feeling when it is growing, when it is strengthened, when it needs more energy. For these are the times that you will be able to inflect your power into the situations, into your activities into your when you're speaking when you're giving direction when you are in your when you are in your guidance when you're giving others guidance this power is coming from you it is being ignited right now because there is inspiration and wisdom for you to bring forth to others so tapping into that center of power and by being in the stillness and the silence and recognizing your feelings, you'll know when your power is at its full force. You'll know when your power needs more energy. You'll know what to do then. It is the perfect time. You will recognize it when you're there, the people that you're with, when they are ready to hear your words. And I leave that with you. Thank you. Reverend Angie, may I come to you? Yes, thank you. Reverend Angie, as I come into your presence this afternoon, what I'm seeing is The energy surrounding your head, spirit is saying that this is, the energy is very active right now. And those mind powers are all being ignited. And this is a, all of them. We know all of the powers work together. All your mind powers right now are all reacting one on the other, on the other, to assist you in an area in your life when you're making connections, relationships, and that's your relationship with yourself as well. Spirit is saying that as you focus on these mind powers, your inspiration and your imagination are full of energy right now. And this is going to help you in the weeks to come with some relationship building, restructuring, and new connections and new relationships. In your meditation in the silence, focus on those mind powers. And then when the time is right, you'll know which ones to use to help build stronger connections. And new relationships. And I leave that with you. Blessings. Thank you very much. Jason, may I come to you? Jason, as I come into your presence this afternoon, I see this wall and what spirit is telling me is that an opening is being, is beginning. 
an opening through this uh, block or wall, what it has been, and it's and it's the opening is slow, but when it when it begins, then it just builds up more speed, and it will become a space for you to see more clearly something that has been eluding you. And as you are in your meditation and quiet, if you watch for that first, first grains as they fall away and that first crack to start, then you'll see that what is coming through is what you have been waiting for. This is something that has been holding you back on one of the passions of your projects. And with this opening that is now available to you, take your step through. Take the step through and that project will be energized and you will know which actions to take to move forward. And I leave that with you, blessings. Thank you, Reverend Jennifer. Thank you. Our next medium will be Reverend David. We have three messages. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Reverend Jennifer, may I come to you? Yes, you are welcome. As I come into your presence this day, um, I don't like to use this word lucky, but there's only one way to play this game, and that is to be lucky, and that's horseshoes. And keep your eye on, on, on the pole, and, and you, you'll get a ringer. Uh, so concentrate on, on, on the whole, on the world, but the, the, whatever you throw that thing at to get the ring in there. <laughs> and, and, and you and you accomplish that, what you got today. I'll leave that with you and God bless you. Thank you. Arlene, how are you? Yes, thank you. Arlene, as I come into your presence today, uh, I see the path that you're on this upcoming week and, and it seems to be very straight, but it's not narrow. So you got a lot of flexibility to go in there and flexibility will be your, your key of, of doing things. So uh, make sure that your, your key is flexibility and, and, and you will know that when you say I am flexible, there will be uh, avenues to go by. I leave that with you and God bless you. Thank you. Reverend Christina, may I come to you? Yes, please. Uh, as I come into your presence today, uh, I, I, I see the, the symbol of uh, uh, nurturing. And, and, and I know you do nurturing during, during the week. Uh, and they, they want you to do well, go to the mirror and nurture that person that you see in the near, in, in the mirror. And you'll get more vitality coming up because there's extra activities going to be presented to you and you're capable of doing them mentally and physically. And I leave that with you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend David. I'll be the next medium. Tim, may I come to you? Yes, please. So Tim, uh, this next week, it, it feels like you're lighter and you are. Uh, there is some things that have been released and now they're being replaced. Um, as we talked about the seed scenario, this is a great uh, thing to really pay attention to for yourself uh, this next week. 
And just thinking about those little things that we do, you know, those uh, thought processes, et cetera, but you are lighter now, you have lesser on the plate. Uh, so being very um, certain of what you're gonna replace that with and do that now, they're saying do it now. Now is the time, as soon as you release, replace and replace with the happiness, health and wealth or whatever it is that your goal is. Um, but there is something very um, important with this replacement right now. Um, that is going to do some even more lighter um, feelings for yourself. And the more you feel that way, the better off it is. Uh, the more things that you're able to do and extend out with energy. And I leave that with you. Blessings to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Reverend Michael, may I come to you? Yes, please. Reverend Michael, um, there is a person that um, comes from Spain that uh, is in your bloodline, actually. Uh, this particular person had something to do with many things that were going on in history. Um, it's a really good thing to research that uh, for you. Uh, you actually were in that lifetime with that person. You were right beside that person and know that there is some igniting to be done for you in the memory of that past life. So do some research, get your information because what you're gonna bring forward here is gonna be really good for you, really, really good for you. Um, know that there is uh, no limit on time and know this is the time to do it. And I leave that with you, blessings to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Reverend David, may I come to you? Please do. Um, I see two two uh, steps, two steps, and that's all it's going to take. Uh, Spirit here is saying this is a very um, simple thing. Once you've released out what you did uh, this last week and made your decisions and got um, your T's crossed, you now only have two steps. So it is um, lightening the load and um, there's something else with the two. Um, know that this is coming up in the, in the next two weeks. Um, they are, like I said, the steps are light. You don't need to do much. So just take it easy in this sense. They're saying you've done what you needed to do. Um, and I'll leave that with you. Blessings to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have I given everybody, have we all given everybody a message? Anybody with mess? All right. Okay, I want to thank each and every one of you for all being here today. And we will the program and sing Let There Be Love. So let's stand up. And for those on Zoom, if you could just make sure you're muted, it looks like you are.
Okay. <laughs>